welcome to my YouTube channel. Today is Thursday, May 23rd, and today I am going to be filming a keto full day of eating slash vlog because today should be a fun day and I want to bring y'all along with me. It is currently 11.08 a.m. Getting a little bit of a late start to turning on my camera, but usually in the mornings I'm just sitting in front of a computer and it's quite boring. Anyways, I am about to head to CrossFit, get in my workout for the day. The workout today is basically jumping rope and doing sit-ups, and it's a lot of sit-ups. So, fingers crossed my abs don't die, but it should be a great workout because I'm trying to tone up the tummy but still have a very long ways to go. After CrossFit, I think that we're going to take out the boat, do a little bit of fishing this afternoon, so it should be a grand old time. I have not eaten anything this morning, I've only had some water, so I'm going to work out fasted today, but I am hungry, so as soon as I get home, I'll eat my first meal of the day. But I have rambled on enough, let's go get in a workout. This is the weightlifting portion of my CrossFit workout. So what we did was three supersets of seven bench press and 14 glute bridges, which I did with a dumbbell and you'll see in just a second. And I have so many bruises on my hips from these, but it's a great workout for the booty. That is for sure. And then our workout for the day is a workout called Annie. And what we did was 50 jump ropes and then 50 sit-ups and then 40 jump ropes and then 40 sit-ups and then 30, 20, 10. So it was 150 jump ropes, 150 sit-ups and y'all my abs were on fire. Holy moly. <laughs> golly CrossFit about killed me today that was a pretty intense workout and as you can see I'm as red as a tomato and literally dripping in sweat from head to toes but it doesn't help that it's 90 degrees outside and we're working out in like an open-air building summer is definitely here and I am going to sweat out a ton of water working out in this very hot weather but that's okay because it helps you lose some weight but that workout about killed me the ab section oh my gosh my abs cramped so 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 bad I don't really do any ab exercises ever so that's definitely a muscle in my body that is weak so doing 150 sit-ups today nearly killed me and my abs like the cramping when you do sit-ups oh it hurts so bad but I did it I completed it I'm sure y'all saw me struggle because I dang sure did but now I am going to turn on this air because I'm hot and head on home and get something to eat because I am tired and hungry. I just made it home from CrossFit and your girl is hungry. So it is time for me to eat my first meal of the day. But before I figure out what I'm going to eat for lunch, 
I am going to make myself some iced coffee because I figured it was only fitting since it's like 90 degrees outside. My iced coffee is actually cold brew iced coffee. So this is a little pitcher that I have right here. And what I did was I filled it up with water and added one of these cold brew coffee packs in there. Let it steep overnight and it's enough to make like three cups of coffee. And this is actually the second day of it steeping so hopefully it's got very intense flavors and going to give me a little bit of a caffeine boost. And now I have a little bit of heavy cream just going to pour me a little splash of that. And lastly, a little bit of liquid stevia to sweeten her up. Now I can go ahead and be caffeinated and just conquer the rest of the day. I love iced coffee so much. It's just so much better than normal coffee. Do y'all agree? Are you a hot coffee person or a iced coffee person? Comment below. For my first meal of the day today, I am going to go the easy way out and eat one of my Flex Pro Keto meals. This is the Keto Breakfast Casserole. In it is eggs, turkey, sausage, pepperoni, parmesan, cream, tomatoes, peppers, onions, basil, and mozzarella. And I am currently out of freezer space, so I am trying to get rid of as much stuff in my freezer as possible. And I figured this would just be a quick and easy thing to throw together in the microwave. This is what the breakfast casserole looks like. This is totally something you can make at home. Just throw together all the ingredients into a baking dish and pop it in a 350 degree oven for like 30 to 40 minutes and you can meal prep for the week. I used to do egg casseroles all the time but I haven't done them lately. I should probably do that again because they're so quick and easy and so delicious. So I'm gonna just pop this in the microwave and eat it real quick and figure out what I need to do next with my life. I'm currently stalking the UPS guy because you can follow their delivery online and I'm hoping he gets here soon because I ordered a new bathing suit and I want to wear it on the boat today. I love Amazon. I ordered it yesterday and it's supposed to be here today. Super fun. I figured I'd do a little plant update even though I know none of you care. I got a new plant. This is a lily. I have zero idea how to take care of it, but it was $5 at the store in dying. So I figured I might try and save it if I can. I don't know. My succulents are growing. After rooting this begonia for over a month, it finally has a root on it. I'm very excited. It's a very tiny little root, but it's growing. And over here, my cannas are doing really well. And I've successfully grown two succulents and there's a tiny little one growing right there. So adorable. And my poor begonia is just not doing that good. And I'm doing everything I can to save her since Cody got her for me for my birthday. But she just, I don't know. I've got to figure out what I'm doing wrong here because she just doesn't look good. <laughs> but yeah, plant update. Super excited. UPS man just came and dropped off my packages and I had a really good mail day. So I wanted to show you what I got. First off, these are the bikinis I was waiting on. This is like a neon orange and this one is like a royal blue color. And then over here is another very exciting package. So I got these really cute Wrangler shorts. They're like cut off Wranglers and they have this really cute free spirit shirt and what I'm most excited about two new pairs of boots. Oh my gosh, I am obsessed. Well, I just put on the first of the two Amazon bikinis and I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to show the world me in a bikini. I'm sure I'll have like some negative comments down below. Can't wait, but I have always struggled with like body confidence issues. So since I was young, like 14, 15, I've had Hashimoto's hypothyroidism, PCOS, and hormone issues. So that causes me to hold on to weight. I don't lose weight very easily. I gain weight by thinking about a donut. So I have always been a little bit thicker. I tend to hold my weight in my lower stomach area and I'm very, not confident in the way my body looks, but 
I've just got to learn to kind of embrace it and my body doing CrossFit lately, it has changed. I'm seeing a little bit more definition. I have lost some weight, but definitely still struggling with the way I look. But I'm feeling a little bit more confident, so I'm trying to, you know, just rock a bikini and freaking own it. And yeah, so here's the first bikini. After my little tangent, I'm just like putting it off, showing you me in a bikini. <sighs> All right, here is the first bikini right here. So, as I said, I hold all of my weight right here. Always have. I hate it more than anything. It's just where I hold my weight. But I have to say, this bikini is pretty cute. I wish I could cover up my belly button. I hate that more than anything. But it is kind of flattering on me. Or I like it at least. But, yeah. So, first bikini. I do think I will keep this one. If I lose a little bit more weight, it'll fit me even better. But, I think this one's a go. What do y'all think? I'm sure I'll have bad comments on me. You're fat. You've done keto forever and you're still fat. <sighs> Here is the second bikini and I think I like this one a little bit better. I kind of want to like mix and match the orange top that has the straps with this blue one because I like these bottoms. It has this little band around it and it's a little bit thicker. It covers a little bit more of the areas. I'm very, very just not confident about but I think it's actually pretty cute what do y'all think so yeah that is my bikini try on and I can't believe I am putting this out into the world please don't leave any hateful comments just just don't please I already put enough negative issues into my mind don't tell me anything <sighs> It is now about 2.45 and Cody and I are about to load up and take the boat out for the first time ever by ourselves. But I know that we're going to be gone for quite a while. So earlier I stopped by the grocery store and grabbed a couple of things to make some crack chicken in the crock pot so it can cook for the next like six hours or so. And when we get home from boating, dinner will be ready because I know I'm going to be starving by the time we get home. So let me show you real quickly what I am doing to throw together this recipe. I have a little over two and a half pounds of chicken breast that I'm just going to open up and dump in the crock pot. Once I layered my chicken in the bottom of the crock pot, I topped it with my seasonings. And what I did was two tablespoons of dried parsley one tablespoon of dried dill, one tablespoon of dried chives, a teaspoon of garlic powder, and a teaspoon of onion powder. And I'm going to add just a smidge of salt and pepper as well. After adding the seasoning, I chopped up two eight ounce blocks of cream cheese and just laid it over the top of the chicken. And now I'm just going to add the lid and put it on low for eight hours. And hopefully by the time we get done fishing, it'll be totally cooked. Well, Cody and I have the boat loaded up. We've got Mr. Bo. He's gonna go out on the boat today with us. I've got his life jacket, so don't worry. But we have the boat behind us, and we are about to go fishing. It's about 4.15, so we'll get like three hours of fishing in or so before it gets too dark. Fish on, y'all. Fish on. Yeah. This thing is very big, but I got a fish. Yay, little catfish. Ooh, catfish. Look at that monster. First one of the day, though. Bo is currently being taunted by this pelican right here. He has no idea what it is, but he's very concerned. Cody's over here with the first fish on the boat. He's got a little catfish. So far, Cody has caught a catfish and a mangrove snapper, and I have caught squat. So that stinks, but we're still having a great time out here. We're going to force the boat. Is that a bass? No. It's a mangrove. It's a mangrove. 
mangrove snapper, y'all. the motor and just get her cleaned up after some time on the water. Woo, clean it. Oh yeah. Ooh. We got the boat rinsed off. We got it put away and we just walked in the door and it is currently 9 40 p.m. So it's been about seven hours since I stuck that chicken into the crock pot back there. So we're about to open it up and check and see how it's doing. I think it should be about done. After seven hours on low, this chicken is so tender that I can just shred it apart with one fork. So it is pretty much ready to go and now we're just going to doll it up a little bit. I'm going to add about a cup of shredded sharp cheddar cheese and some bacon bits, stir it all around and it'll be ready to go. And now some bacon bits. And I'm just going to stir it all together and it'll be ready to be served. I just threw a bag of broccoli florets into the microwave, steamed it. So that is a simple veggie. So dinner is served in less than 10 minutes from walking in the door after being on the boat for hours. I need some awesome keto crock pot recipes. Do y'all have any I should try? Because it's so nice that I can just come home and dinner is ready. Oh, I love that so much. Time to make our plates and start digging in. Easy squeezy lemon peasy dinner is served. Time to go digging because I am so hungry. All I've had is that breakfast casserole today so i should wake up lighter in the morning with the amount of food i haven't ate and the amount of sweat that has poured off of my body today i am currently looking like a hot mess and a half so just ignore that but i am exhausted i am beat had a great workout today went fishing and now it is time to go rinse all the griminess off of me and then go crawl into bed and get a good night's sleep i hope that you guys enjoyed this video today a little bit of a crazy day but it was so much fun so if you enjoyed this video please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel down below if you haven't done so and I will see y'all again real soon with another video. Bye, guys. Oh, I just tripped. Bye, guys. <laughs> mm.